French Air Force had phased out 18 Mirage 2000 fighter jets in 2020, and as per latest reports, the Indian Air Force has already signed a contract on 31 August 2021 to buy phased out Mirages of the French Air Force, that will help improve the serviceability of the existing 50 Mirage 2000 fighters of the Indian Air Force, and none of these 18 French aircraft would be used for flying. India had also signed a contract with Dassault Aviation in 2020 for supplying old Mirages, and they have already reached India last year. Under the latest AUKUS grouping, Australia is looking at the British Astute class or the US Virginia class to build at least eight nuclear-powered submarines for the Australian Navy, instead of 12 conventional submarines offered by the French firm Naval Group. U.S. regulations prevents complete transfer of nuclear technology, but rare exemptions might be made for the Australian nuclear attack submarine program, and this has left many questions as to why this technology collaboration was not done under the aegis of Quad Grouping, and India which is the biggest military rival of China and also a Quad member was not considered for the same technology collaboration. Australian officials have said, that the Chinese Navy has improved their anti-submarine capabilities, and the French submarines would be more susceptible to detection. Experts have said, that the Indian national security planners also need to reconsider Project 75I and Project 76, and swiftly jump to the Project 77 SSN project, as submarine building takes at least a decade from the drawing board, and India needs to prepare for a time when Chinese aircraft carriers and SSNs will be patrolling the Indian Ocean region. There is a distinct possibility that China might build an SSN for its client Pakistan, citing the transfer of US nuclear reactor technology under AUKUS grouping to Australia. France and Russia are the possible partners for joint development of six SSNs in India, under which France had offered transfer of technology if six more French conventional submarines are ordered under Project 75I, that has not excited anyone at the Indian Naval Headquarter. India is also looking at Russia for experience and technology collaboration for the SSNs, and is also holding talks to lease an additional Akula class nuclear attack submarine from Russia. In a significant development, Boeing has awarded a contract for manufacturing assemblies for its newest F-15EX tactical fighter jet to the Indian firm Dynamatic Technologies, under which the aero structures for the most advanced F-15EX will be made in Bangalore, India, and will be supplied to Boeing from this financial year. Boeing has already received a license from the US government to export its F-15EX to India under the 114 MRFA program, and there are reports that India could come up with the decision on its 114 MRFA program in the first quarter of 2022. The Indian Army has placed orders with the private sector firm Tunbo Imaging for 600 units of multifunctional thermal imaging binoculars for target acquisition, and the other is for multi-mission sight, which can be mounted on the helmet and also on the rifles, and they have to be delivered in 12 months. The procurement is being done by the Infantry Directorate, and the contract value is more than 100 crore rupees, and a large order will be placed if these units perform according to expectations. Discarding the offers from Russia, US and India, the Argentine government has allocated $664 million for the acquisition of 12 Chinese JF-17 Block III fighters in its budget for financial year 2022, as well as repair and modernization of the runways and infrastructure that would host the new aircraft. While this is the clearest sign in favor of the Chinese JF-17, However, no one can claim victory until the contract is signed, as there may still be counter-offers from other countries. In 2015, Argentina's Ministry of Defense had authorized $360 million for the purchase of 14 KFIR fighter jets from Israel, 
that was later scrapped by the new administration, therefore the presence of the JF-17 in the 2022 budget should be taken only as a purchase intention and not as a closed deal, especially at a time when elections are currently underway in the country. It seems like China is spooked by the upcoming test of MIRF-capable Agni-5 intercontinental ballistic missile on 23rd September, as the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman has said, that maintaining peace security and stability in South Asia meets the common interests of all countries. China is known worldwide as the biggest violator of arms control and nuclear proliferation, has been helping Pakistan's nuclear and missile projects for decades. But it has now cited a United Nations Security Council resolution issued after the 1998 nuclear tests, and has questioned India's upcoming test of the Agni-5.